welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of UCEvent.net. My name is Steel, Jimmy Nils Hoffa, and this is the prediction of UC109, Couture versus Coleman. Yeah, uh, it's the old geezers. Legend versus legend, older, old versus oldest. Uh, I don't, man, I don't know. Um, many thing, many people, you know, wrinkle the nose about. Come on, man, they are almost fifty years old. <clears throat> but you know, Randy Couture. His latest like, like seven losses have been to champions, like losses. Chuck, Vito Belford, Brock Lesnar, Nogueira, mm, uh, Josh Barnett. Uh, you know, good, good, good fighters. And very, very entertaining fighters. Uh, and then, you know, he got wins over Tito Ortiz, um, that big Brazilian guy with the big nose, uh, Gonzaga, uh, Tim Sylvia. Uh, Brandon Vera, you know, uh, you know, you know, in, in Japan you can lose fights and still, you know, be a hero. In America you can't, but you know, he's the exception. You know, he's the he's the he's the hero, man. You know, everybody loves Randy. Um, more common. Uh, if this fight would happen like seven, seventeen years ago. Uh, Mark Coleman, Mark Coleman would have won this fight. I can guarantee him because you know he was in, in a in a winning streak. Um, he he got more, he he got more muscle stand back 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 in the days, and uh, you know it, it it should have been a heavyweight bout. But you know now, you know uh, all the heavyweight guys, you know they are they're so big. So you know if you are a guy like Mark Coleman and and Randy Couture, you know, you know, <sighs> they are monsters. So then go down to light heavyweight. Uh, 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 uh. You know, Randy, he's the more the more technical guy. Uh, more, you know, he can do more more submissions and submission defense. More common, you know, he's a, he, he's still a one trick pony man. He, he rushes in takedowns and, and ground and pound. Uh, the problem is. It was a long time he, you know, he got a good win. You know, okay, he beat Stephen Bonner. But uh, uh, the thing is, I don't believe that Makoma would be... Oh, ghosts. No, no, no. It was my cat. Uh, no, I, I have a hard time to see Makoma pull this off. Uh, you know, he has to over overpower Brandy Couture. Uh, but I believe that you know it it it's gonna be Randy's cardio, because the thing is, Mark Coleman's cardio is his problem. But you know, you know in '96 when he was you know the Grand Prix tournament champion, he, you know, you know he, he 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 was a specimen, specimen specimen. But now he looks like a old geezer, you know, with muscles. But uh, uh decision. Tour, mark my words. Next bout, uh, Nate the Great Markman versus uh, Shil Sonnen. and you know uh, Shil Sonnen, you know he's a big, he's a big middleweight man, and he's a good wrestler. Uh, the thing is, when he have lost fights, he have lost through submission. And what is Nate Markman? A PG black belt. And he got good wrestling, good wrestling skills too, and good stand-up skills. So you know he can sh he, he can almost pick and choose where this fight should take place. And if she she Sonnen takes Nate Morgan down, you know the danger it ain't over. So uh, I believe that it's gonna be a submission or a TKO. Hmm, hard to say. It 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 can be a stoppage, Tr triangle choke. Mark one. Which round? First round. First round. Mark my words. Next bout. Uh, Mike Quick Quick versus Paul Tiago. This should have been Josh Carter versus Paul Tiago. Because Paul Tiago knocked out 
uh, just cause Jake. You know, he, he got dynamite in his hands, and uh, uh, man, my quick swick. Uh, I predict that Dan, Dan Hardy would have, uh, you know, would take the victory against Mike Squick, and he did. And, you know, many people posted comments about, oh, you crazy, you know, Mike Squick, he, he can't lose to Dan Hardy. But you saw in the fight, Dan Hardy, he, he, he was gaining that fight. Uh, but uh, Mike Squick, he looked a little bit, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know if he had a bad training camp, you know, his cardio looked semi and you know he was a, a, a little bit gun shy but you know he, he has to he, he has to step up and you know Paul Thiago he's no slouch you know he got heavy hands um but uh I believe that he's gonna play it smart he's gonna take take him down you know do some more do some leg kicks and take him down you know play it safe play it safe um yeah decision and um and in one thing, Paul Thiago, he's in a special unit called Boppe. If you don't know, search on YouTube, Trupa de Elite. It's a movie about, you know, Boppe. You know, you know, James Bond, he got license to kill. They are, you know, they are cops who got license to kill. They are, they are like Batman, the Dark Knight, you know. They take out cops and drug dealers. And they are crazy. You know, when, when people say, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to kill you, you know, before the fight. He actually can do it. Uh, next bout, Demi Maya uh, versus Dan Miller. And Dan Miller, man, he's a black belt and good wrestler. That's a good thing. So, you know, just take Demi Maya down and, you know, grind out to a decision. No. Dan Miller, he's a black belt. But Demi Maya, he's a black belt amongst black belts. Okay? And, you know, if Demi, Dan Miller would be a good stand up guy, I believe that Dan Miller would have a chance. But no. Demi Maya, first round submission and submission of the night. Easy, easy. Uh, and and a hey. <sighs> Frank Chick versus little, little Italian guy, chubby. Mm. Matt Sarah. Uh, interesting fight, man, because Matt Sarah. He, he don't have to fight, man. He he he, he, he got. Some schools, uh, Frank Trigg, you know, he got murdered, murdered in, in his last bout. Uh, so, hmm, this 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 is a toss up, you know. Uh, Frank Trigg, he, he's a better wrestler, so he he can take Matt Sarah down and finish him. But you know, he's a hard hard guy to finish. Uh, you know, it took like two rounds for GSP to finish him. Maybe a few rounds, but uh, it took a long, long time. Um, but Frank Tick, you know, he, he had been submitted before, and uh, I believe it's gonna be a decision. And if Frank Trigg uses his wrestling, I believe that he can take it. But uh, you know, I, I hope Matsara takes it anyway. Uh, and hey. Takanori Gomi is in the UFC, man. Watch out. And, uh, hey, and we are maybe going to Canada May 8th and watch Shogun versus Machida. And Shogun, War Shogun. One more thing. It's all over. <laughs>